Next, define the rough and finish machining for the counter bores on top of the mounting block. An eye rough and eye finish operation must be defined. Add a new eye machining operation. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click Operations, Add Milling Operation, and select 2D Eye Machining. The Eye Machining Operation dialog box is displayed and the default eye rough is used for technology. On the Geometry page, click the New button to define the machining geometry for the counter bores. For this operation, the geometry is defined as three closed pockets. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the top edges of the three counter bore contours as shown. When the confirmation messages OK to accept are displayed, click Yes to accept the chain selections. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection. Switch to the tool page and click the Select button. In the Part Tool table, select Tool number 6, the 1.5 mm end mill. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, select the top face of the mounting block as shown, and then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Pocket Depth button and select the lower face of a counter bore hole to define the machining depth. Click OK to confirm the selection. On the Technology Wizard page, you can view the cutting conditions. The wizard automatically calculated one step down to achieve the total depth with an ACP value of 0.9. Because the step-down row is painted red, further reduce the machining level aggressiveness to 1. On the technology page, the step-down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. In the offsets area, set the wall island offset to 0 0.06 millimeters. Switch to the link page and move to the pre-drilling tab. Enable the use pre-drilling operations checkbox and then select the last drill operation in the list. D mounting block with a 1.65 mm diameter. When selected, the X and Y coordinates appear in the drill positions list. Now, iMachining can use the data from the previously drilled holes for safe tool entry. Name the operation iRough Counter Bores. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. As you can see, the tool feeds down into each of the previously drilled holes and performs the pocket roughing toolpaths. Close the simulation control panel with the exit button to display the iMachining operation dialog box. Now, define the finished machining for the counter bores. Create a copy of the current iMachining operation by clicking the Save and Copy button. The current iMachining operation dialog box closes and the copied operation automatically opens. Click the drop down menu under Technology and change the operation type to iFinish. The copied machining geometry, 1.5mm tool, and milling levels from the previous iRough operation are used for this iFinish operation. On the Technology Wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 1. On the Technology page, the step down and cutting angles generated by the wizard are shown. By default, the wall island offset is now set to 0. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining toolpath can be viewed on the model. Name the operation iFinish Counter Bores. Click Save and Calculate, and then click Simulate. Click the Play button to view the iMachining toolpath at work. The tool feeds down into each of the counter bores and finishes the walls by removing the 0.06mm offset. Using the exit buttons, close the Simulation Control Panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box.